everybody. My name is Janelle Oldham, and I'm here with my friend Amanda today. And we are going to do a hairstyle that we saw last night on the red carpet at the Oscars with Haley Steinfeld. She had a Haley Steinfeld. Sorry, guys. She had a beautiful updo. It was very sculpted, flat to the face. Had a little bit of squareness. It was so gorgeous on my Instagram feed last night, which my Instagram is Janelle Number Five. Um, that was the hairstyle everyone was talking about. Everyone was just like, I love that hairstyle. It was something unique and it was beautiful. And I think it's going to look amazing on Amanda because she has so much depth in her hair color. So why don't we go ahead and get started. But you guys, we are doing this live. So <clears throat> if you have any questions, go ahead and type them in. Ask me anything. I'm here to answer. And we are going to use all Orbe products today because... I am Orbe obsessed. I'm also an Orbe educator. And you can buy all of the Orbe products. They're shoppable in the links down below. So make sure you get your hands on them because they're going to make this hairstyle just last, make it look luxurious and expensive and shiny and glossy. But let's get this party started. All right. So what I really want to do is section out her bangs. This is Amanda. She's got some fringe here so we're going to just get the short pieces out and i'm just going to go ahead and clip those away go ahead and look this way for me and the reason i want to do that is i felt like on the hairstyle there was just a little bit of softness it wasn't tight all the way around just right at the top it had this gorgeous kind of windblown back look and then the rest was really sleek and amazing so first things first i'm going to use orbe maximista spray I am obsessed with this. It's super shiny. It's similar to like a hairspray that doesn't have a stick when I'm using it more for styling. On a normal day, you could blow dry this into your hair and get giant thick. This is a thickening spray, but I really like it. It holds the hair down, makes it super shiny. And when I want to get tight ponytails, this is what I like to use. So I'm going in here, you guys, and I'm really saturating it. Mostly at the roots because we still want the ends to be soft because we're going to do something different to them later. But from the roots to the mid shaft, I'm just getting in here and I'm making it really, really saturated. And it smells really amazing. I don't know if you guys have ever used Orbe hair products, but they are the best smelling in the market. I may be biased, but I love them. I use this product all the time when I'm on set styling, when I'm doing tight ponytails, when I just want something to be slicked but I don't want it to be sticky. You'll see how shiny it makes the hair. And this is actually a pretty simple, fun updo because once you get all the products in here and you set the ponytails, it's kind of like you get to sculpt the ends and it's super fun. I'm going to be turn a little bit this way just so I can get in this side. The Oscars are always so fun to watch because I like to look at all the hairstyles and the dresses. I felt like a lot of girls wore down hairstyles last night. Just, you know, kind of sleek, a little bit curled. So that's why this one really stuck out. I don't even know who that girl is, but I was like, wow, that is a really great hairstyle. And when I do really flat sides, I really like to use a really small comb with little teeth. And I also really like to use my Mason Pearson brush. Mason Pearson's just the boar's hair. And you can see that shine in this hold that we're going to get right here in this hairstyle. So what's important to this hairstyle is we're going to section the hair off from behind the ear to behind the other ear. Because we're going to create two ponytails. And this helps too if your hair is not as long as Amanda's hair. You can get a little bit more length and fake it a little bit by using two ponytails. And we have a question from Melody and she wants to know if updos are better to do on clean hair or dirty hair. I definitely like to get in with some more dirty hair. I wouldn't say dirty and greasy, but a little bit lived in, it holds a little bit more. It's nice to already have those products in the hair. And why work harder? You know, if you're, there's no need to wash your hair and get a blowout just to put a bunch of product in it to slick it back down. 
So you can see you guys, I sectioned her hair out from behind the ear to the other part of the ear. And it's still not as wet as I'd like it to be, so I'm going to get in there with a little bit more Maxine Stone. Maybe look down slightly. Because a lot of people have these little baby hairs down here. And we want this to be amazingly shiny. You can see how much I'm using, you guys. Don't be shy. I'm going to use my mason. And I'm just holding the hair a little bit taut, and you can see how clean we're getting that line. That hairline there, it's beautiful. And I'm doing the bottom one first because I noticed that it didn't really look like there was two ponytails, so I'm, I'm kind of going to put the top one to kind of cover the, the part line. That's why I kind of beveled it down so you won't see that part as pronounced. All right, so we got that in there. We're gonna use some bungees. Bungees are these really cool rubber bands but they have these little hooks on them. Cause sometimes it's really hard to put in a ponytail once you kind of put your ponytail in, it kind of like messes up. And then like, crap, there's one lump, I've got to start all over again. But these are kind of foolproof. So what you're gonna do is you put the hook at the bottom and then I'm going to put my hand on top of the hook. Got a little there. And I'm just going to keep this. Uh, I don't even like that yet. It's got to be very, very clean. I don't want to make it messy when I'm showing all of you guys. So that's where these little teeth comes. Comes in perfectly here. Look down for me a minute and don't move your head. Keep it very sturdy. So head position and keeping your models Head not moving all over the place makes a really big difference when you're trying to get these clean, tight ponytails. The Beyonce ponytail, this is a really good way if you ever want to just get that fresh look, get a little bit of a facelift, just get a really high ponytail and it'll just help everything out. So I'm going to use these little teeth. And she's got really a little baby hairs here. That's normal with blonde. Hello, Britta. Britta is joining us. And is this, Britta wants to know if this style is possible if you have fine hair. It is, because you know why? You could fake this hairstyle. You don't have to have all this hair. If you can get two ponytails, they could be little nubs. You could add extensions. You could just use fake pieces of hair. So you definitely, definitely could use this. The most important part of this hairstyle is getting this base, what I'm doing now. You can see it's kind of taking me a while, but that's because I want it perfect. So this is definitely a style for anybody, even somebody that had short hair. Short hair, you could just get the two ponytails and then add extensions. All right, so putting in the hook and then I'm pressing it in. So we're going round and round and then there's another little hook and that just goes in. There, and you want to make sure that both the hooks are in front so it doesn't come out. So we've got one ponytail. See how nice and clean? And now we can actually go in there with the little guy and just make it perfect. And now that we have that set, I'm going to use some super fine, strong hairspray. This is the business. If you don't want hair to move, this will make it super shiny and just lock it in. And don't be afraid of products when you are doing an updo. Because honestly, it makes all the difference in the world and it'll last a long time. Because a lot of these time, a lot of the different the difference between doing hair for editorials and doing hair for runway or doing hair for red carpet is it's gotta last. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and make this other ponytail here. Just going to get a little bit more Maximista. And this one is not a super high ponytail. It's more back of the crown area. And I'm just getting it really clean. And Megan is joining us. And Megan 
Is there any tips on how someone with super straight hair that never holds a curl? Well, we're going to get there because you can see this hair is pretty straight. And this hairstyle isn't about being curly, but we do want to make some bend into the hair. So we're going to use a curling iron in a little bit just to set the bend so we get a nice... See, she's got little baby hairs, you guys. A lot of people do. We're going to use the baby fine teeth. Just going to get in there and make it super clean. And make this super center. You don't want to have your ponytails be off center. Seeing that clean. And sometimes it's nice, you guys, just to like do a little up to you like this on yourself. Wear it with some jeans and just feel fancy. I mean, why not? You don't even have to do the double ponytail. You could take this, do one ponytail, and then just do the sculpting part. All right, so we've got another nice tight ponytail. I just want to get these little guys here. And see, when I'm holding my ponytail, I'm going a little further out. I'm not cupping it super close to the head because then we have room to fix what we don't like. And I'm bringing my brush all the way through the hair just to make sure that everything is going to get nice and clean. So now, there. This is the hardest part, you guys, because this is the foundation of the whole hairstyle. All right, I'm loving that. Get in my tool kit here. Grab another little bungee. That's not it. All right, so I've got another little bungee. Just wrapping it around. All right. So now we have two ponytails. Go to this side. So we've got a nice, tight, taut face here. Just got a little mini facelift going on. Now I just want to work on these little bangs because we just want to create a little bit of like a slight pompadour look. Not too much volume, but just a little bit so it doesn't look super slicked all the way there, which gives it a little bit more point of interest. So I'm going to use Orbe soft lacquer spray and the reason I love this is it's super shiny and it gives the hair just a little bit of texture and it's pretty dramatic this product is not for someone who doesn't know how to style their hair this is definitely um, one that takes some TLC to do it right so the way you want to do it so the, I want to create turn a little put your legs a little bit this way we're gonna work on the front here so I want to create a little bit of a root bump right in the front so then when she lifts back she's got that volume. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to curl forward so then when we brush it back then we've got a pop right at the hairline. So I'm going to take my three fourths of an inch curling iron and I'm using soft lacquer and I'm spritzing it. And then I'm going to take my fine tooth comb. This product is not a hairspray. It's like a memory heat styling spray. It's pretty magic. If your hair doesn't hold curl, this is a great product for you, but you need to take your time and you need to go section by section. But for someone's hair that doesn't hold curl, I promise you, you put this in there, you are gonna have curls for days. It's a little bit of a dramatic product in the sense that it sizzles and it steams. So, now I'm gonna go in this way keeping it over directed and I'm just going to bump the roots. See, I'm just kind of like putting the hair and you can see that steam. I don't know if you can see it through the camera, but we're just kind of trying to create kind of like as if she had like a natural curl to her hair, which I find pretty interesting with the sleekness of it. So not too much hold. All right, how you guys doing? Can you see me here? All right, 
soft lacquer again. I'm going to spritz it on the front side. I'm going to spritz it on the back side. And then I'm going to get in here, curling iron. And see it's steaming. It's like phew. Steam is good. That means it's working. And I'm just simply putting my curling iron in to it. I'm not even moving this part. I just want to see how much that's already like bumping the base. That's so important. If you like volume with your curls, bumping a base before you curl it makes a huge difference with getting that volume. And we're just going to do about three curls just so I get a little bit of texture in the hair. And it's mainly just to get that, that natural curl. You see it's like going back, it's already creating that kind of shape. Already showing your beautiful face off. Amanda's always my model and I'm always so thankful that she lets me practice all these little hairstyles on her all the time. <laughs> I didn't get to watch the Oscars, but I heard it was pretty crazy last night. But we're gonna give the award-winning hairstyle to Haley Steinfeld. All right, so now that we've got this in here, I just wanna create some texture. Orbe Dry Texture Spray, or I like to call it Sexture Spray. If your hair is flat, if it's fine, if it gets greasy, this is the number one product you should own in your life. It's a game changer. It's also like a perfume. I don't know if the peanut gallery could smell it in here, but it is fantastic. <laughs> so we're just going to create that and then I don't know, I'm, I'm sure you guys are really experienced, you know, hair and makeup people, but I just want to show you the difference between a bobby pin, which is closed, and a hairpin, which is open. And hairpins are really cool when you want things to look natural. When you want things to look natural, you could use a hairpin because the hair, the bobby, the hairpin doesn't pull it together, but the bobby pin kind of clamps it. So I like to use it kind of like as a comb. I'm going to open up the two bottoms and I'm just going to like slide it back. Okay, it looks straight for me now. So we're just going to get in here and like I'm combing this hair into that product because you know she has so much Maximista in there so it's kind of using it as a little bit of a anchor. And I'm just using the pin as a comb. So we're still getting a little bit of volume, but it's not dramatic. You see already, because the soft lacquer has such a nice texture in the hairspray that it's, it's giving me some of that hold back. So now that I, let me see, oh, it's beautiful. So I'm gonna use these and I'm just gonna like set them. I'm gonna pull it back. Can you see this? We're gonna pull it back and then I'm gonna put it forward and just let it lay there. Nobody could see it, it's just hidden. And we're just lightly, I'm gonna put like three and then we get into the really fun part which is the sculpting. All right, let's see. I really like that. What do you guys think? You could go a little bit bigger with volume if you want, or you can keep it flat. You could do the whole thing flat. If you don't have bangs, say you have long hair everywhere, um, you could just kind of curl your roots, leave one little sheet of hair, and then you could wrap it around the ponytail. Luckily, she's got a little bit of lift there, a little bit of short layers. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and use the soft lacquer again. It's a very sticky spray, um, but this is a pretty, hard shiny look so I'm okay with using this normally I would use just a hairspray but I, I'm feeling like the soft lacquer is going to give me the stickiness that I need to kind of hold all this hair in. Cool. So we're going to let that dry and now we get into the really fun part. If anybody has any questions about what I've already done we are doing the look the Haley Steinfeld from the Oscars. Go ahead and ask me any questions. I'm here for you. So, um, <laughs> so,
So we've got this nice sleek back double pony thing going on. And the reason why the double pony is so great is because then we get two places to play with hair as opposed to it being one ponytail. You'd have to spread it out. The hair wouldn't look as long. So this is, this is a really good trick. If you have shorter hair and you want to do more updos with your hair, even if you have like shoulder length hair, you could put it in two ponytails and get some type of, you know, tails to play with. You can also put your short hair up and then use fake hair to move it around. But now we're going to do something really, really fun. This one makes it a little bit more like going from night than something you just do every single day. We are going to use rock hard gel. It's a little scary. It's also a lot of fun. So here we go. My hands are going to get real messy here. I'm going to go ahead and put it on. This tub is no joke. But it's also super shiny. It locks in the moisture. It's becoming my new favorite product. I, I usually use it for men, but honestly, this is what I have in my hair right now. I am obsessed with rock hard gel. My new favorite thing to do with rock hard gel is put a little bit in my eyebrows and blow them out. An eyebrow blowout. It is insane. Your eyebrows, this stuff is the best eyebrow gel you'll ever use in your freaking life. So, putting it in my hand. And then I'm going to take part of the hair and I'm just going to coat the hair. I want it to be really clean. In this first one up here, you can take a big, small, this is why this hairstyle is fun, is because this is your chance to create. Nothing is going to be the exact same, you know, movement, so it's fun to just get in there and just have fun with it. So now she's got a coating of the rock hard gel, you can see it. Not too much, but it's definitely going to get all the little flyaways, all the hair that isn't the same length is all going to slip into there. So I am going to use some bobby pins and then we'll use some hair pins. So I'm just going to get in here. You guys, I'm just going to start sculpting. And then what's great is you kind of want to make a figure eight or you can do whatever you want, but I'm going to make a figure eight. I'm going to put a little bit more gel. This is a lot of gel. But it makes it super shiny. And then if you go in the wind, you're not going to get little pop-ups, flyaways, whatever. So now I'm going to take this tail. I've got the rock hard on everything. And I feel like Haley Steinfeld has really, really long hair, even longer hair than Amanda. So you could, if you have even longer hair, you could do three different ponytails and bring them all together. So there's really no right or wrong, but I think what's really important is see how I'm combing it out. I really want these tentacles or whatever we're going to call them, these pieces to be clean. So the small teeth is really going to help with that. I still have some raw cards, so I'm just going through, putting that on, and now I'm going to make... I'm going to make a figure eight, so I'm going to open this up. I'm going to go around the bottom one. And just keep it clean. See how beautiful it's already looking shiny and everything's very put together. Just very clean. I think that's what I liked about this hairstyle. It was gave her a little facelift and then it was super clean and chic. And it's got that 360 because that's what you want. Sometimes when you're doing hair for editorials or for like lookbooks, I mean half of those clothes have like little clips in the back and you're not seeing what's actually the outfit is what it looks like but when you're on the red carpet it's a 360 you need everything to look good from every angle so now this is the bottom ponytail just poking out so you see I wrapped this hair around the bottom ponytail and we're just creating shapes so I'm gonna add a little bit more rock hard gel don't be shy with the rock hard 
So I'm putting it in my hands until it's like clear. You can just see that sheen as soon as it like layers on top, it's holding everything in. And that's why we don't really need to have curl. If the hair was super straight, you could definitely get in here with a big iron and curl all these pieces first. But I think it's kind of unnecessary. I don't really like to do steps that you don't need to. It's like, why make life harder for yourself? All right, so we're just gonna make another little bun here. I'm gonna get this tail out of the way. I like to use my tool belt so I have everything here. So we're just sculpting. Sculpting means you're just taking the hair and you're looking at it. And then you're pinning it. It's your masterpiece. Did anyone else have some any favorite hairstyles they saw at the Oscars last night? Any other hairstyle questions? That looks so beautiful with your hair color. Just into it. So I'm going to use a clip to kind of hold where I want to place it. Look out for me, Amanda. All right. I didn't get to go to any cool parties, but I know that that's like the number one party night in Hollywood it is the Oscar. Oh, there we go. Just putting the hairpins, creating the shape. Okay, go ahead and turn this way so everybody can kind of see what I'm doing. Is it okay? Is that in camera? Alright. So now I'm going to use a bobby pin. I'm just getting in here to hold everything. There we go. And Jenny wants to know, should I always apply product before putting heat in my hair? I believe that if anything else, you should always use a heat styler if you're going to put heat in your hair because depending on which areas you live in, so many elements take start wearing on your hair. If you live in LA, you've got the sunshine, you've got the smog, you've got the gas. It's like you want to put a UV protector or a heat protector. I mean, that's number one. I think that People, it doesn't really have any styling effects for it, so a lot of people don't think it's important, but it's the most important thing. And what's great about the Orbe products is a lot of them already have UV and heat protectant already built right into it. Max Mista has it, it's all moisture based, moisture infusing. So I'm taking this last piece, I'm gonna add a little bit more rock hard gel. And all of this is very visual, so you could make as many look straight. You could make as many tails as you want, depending on the density of the hair. So I'd say heat heat styling products or heat protectors are very important, especially if you color your hair, especially if you're putting heat irons and flat irons and you just want that extra barrier. All right. And let's look to the side now. Look how beautiful that is. I think this hair color just 
is really showing off in this hairstyle here. Hello, Lauren. Where do you do hair normally? You are so good. Thank you so much. I work at the salon at a salon in downtown LA called The Well. It is by the Staples Center. It's a really fun, fun salon. Lots of fun people. There is never a dull moment. We're also an event space, so we have lots of parties and tons of different things happening all the time. I, the other day I was at work, got off, and I saw some stand-up comedy, and it was hilarious. So go ahead and stop on by if you're ever in downtown LA. Come to the well. We also have a store. You can try on some clothes, get some candles, whatever you need. And so what I'm doing with this last tail so I'm just kind of feeding it in to see where it could be hidden. So it's kind of just, I'm not feeling that section right there, so I kind of want to cover that. There we go, that looks chicer. And this would be a really good hairstyle for a wedding. This would be a gorgeous hairstyle for holiday parties, but definitely it's a wow factor for the red carpet. All right. All right, you guys, look how beautiful that's looking there. So the only thing I don't wanna see is any bobby pins. I don't like seeing that. So I'm gonna take this bigger section in here and I'm gonna use a hair pin. That's why I like the hair pins because they don't give that tightness and you kind of hide things. But it, oh, there we go. We just need to pull it out a little bit more. Hello. Um, I don't want to get your name wrong. I'll feel totally bad. M Mina Kashai. Hi. Um, do you suggest this hairstyle for curly hair? Yes, this hairstyle would look beautiful in curly hair. I don't know how dense your hair is. Mm -hmm. But having that little bit of curl would be fantastic. And with the Maximista, you could definitely pull it really flat. Or you could use our other hair product called um, Royal Blowout. That is more of a hair product that makes the hair small. So if I was doing this hairstyle on somebody with curly hair, I would go in and go ahead and use um, the Royal Blowout. It's an oil. And I would, I would soften the hair with that. Maybe I would straighten it a little bit. But what's really great about the Orbe Rock Hard Gel is there's no water in this formula. So you don't have to be afraid of if you straighten your hair and then you curl it and then you're like, oh my gosh, you're going to put this wet product on my hair. It's going to make it revert back to curly. This doesn't do that. So you don't really need to worry about that. And this, this hairstyle would look gorgeous on any hair texture. So now we've, we're pretty much done. But I'm going to go in here and we're going to do shellac it, which is the best part. Make it stay. So this is the fun. I'm going to use, this is the newest product from Orbe. This is Star Glow. It's a non-greasy wax. And I just really want everything to shine. And then we're going to set it. I know I'm using a lot of products, but good hair, good hairstyles require a lot of, a lot of products. So this is like a clear wax, but it doesn't get greasy. So you don't have to worry about your hair getting nasty. Okay. And I'm going to push this on. Push this on. You can see all that sleekness. You can definitely always go back with your little tooth comb and just make it perfect because now she's got a little bit of that wax so I want to make sure that all those hairs are going in the same direction and look very chic and flat. Go straight this way. And I'm feeling that. And sometimes with the hairpins, after they set for a little bit, you don't really need them anymore. Because they're going to be locked in there. So I'm just going to take those out so you don't see them. Cleaning up this side. And now I'm going to take Super Fine Strong, the most powerful hairspray 
in all the land. And this will lock in any hairstyle that you want. Okay, ready? And I'm gonna not be shy. Because she's going to a party after this award show, so you've got to make sure she can dance. You know, you want to be able to party in this hair. Turn this way. All right, so I want to show you guys the full 360 here. Go ahead, side, back. Can you see it all? How pretty does it look with that color? It's so beautiful, right? And then sit forward. She's ready for the red carpet. One, two, three. <laughs> Gorgeous. Just let me know if you guys have any questions. I am Janelle number five. J It'll be down there for you. You'll be able to see it. It's like Chanel number five, but Chanel number five. And thank you for watching this tutorial with me. I hope you learned something. And if you have any questions, just go ahead and message me. I will answer anything. And if you have any product questions, I'm here for you, so just let me know.